is my current setup. I have just this little metal thing that I'm attaching to my chuck. I have my level here to make sure that my silicone piece is level, a fan that I'm going to be putting here to blow any fumes, and my focal height set. If you are interested in my settings, here are my settings. I am running an Ohm Tech 30 watt fiber, and we're going to come over here and frame it. I'm happy with it. I do recommend defocusing it for this purpose. Here are my rotary settings in case anybody is interested, and then I'm going to start the job. By default, I do use two passes. However, sometimes you might find it is a little bit too light depending on the color you have. So don't be afraid to go over it a time or two to get it a little bit darker to your liking. Here we go, we have our first silicone sleeve. Now I'm gonna put on the black one just to kind of show you the differences between the engravings. Keep in mind, I did personally find with the black one in particular that the settings that I normally use would kind of create a flame. So I do dull the settings down a little bit for the black and I will show you how I do that in just a second. And to clean these, I just use a paper towel and a little bit of rubbing alcohol. Here we go for the pink. And again, you can use different color oil pens if you want to. My uncle really just liked the base color that was here, so I'm just going to keep it as it is and go from there. I will make a note, don't put these glasses on the rotary because they will crack or they will break. I did have one that kind of arrived a little bit damaged, so I figured I'd give it a go. It did crack right away, so I suggest pulling the silicone sleeves off before you do anything with these. Black is on and it's level. And to change the settings, I just come over here and I bring it down to about 70. Um, again, every machine is different. This is what I found works for me. Otherwise, if I keep it at 80 for some reason, I get a flame only on the black though. So not really sure why, but I'm gonna kind of stick to what's working for me right now. Even with the settings dulled down a little bit, sometimes if you don't have enough wind, you will still see the flame. I do suggest playing around, at least have a tester of each color if possible. I try to do that in my normal practice, but once you get the settings dialed in, hopefully it should be smooth sailing. As you can see here, with the darker colors, especially the black, you might not even need to go over it a couple times like I did with the lighter color because it's already pretty bright and noticeable. Now another option you can do, and I will be showing you that as well, is you can use the Sharpie oil pens for these. There's my dog. My dog is coming to say hi. Also, if you notice any lines, feel free to defocus it just a little bit, and that should help it out. Again, sometimes I do go over these a couple times just because I find it a little bit easier and I want to get certain depths and colors. And if you are doing the oil pens like I will be showing you, um, it is really good to have some depth to these because it just it holds the oil and the ink a lot better than it would, you know, if it wasn't as deep. As you can see, the black is a little bit more messy, so I am just going to pull this off. Another thing you can do that I have used before is I've done a electric toothbrush, an old one, with a little bit of water or rubbing alcohol, and I scrubbed it to get into those crevices, so that is also another option. So now that it is cleaned up, you can see there is some inconsistencies with the engrave. And again, it, I feel like it is a lot more noticeable on the black compared to the other colors, but I'm going to show you what I do to get this to pop. So I use this pen, it's by Sharpie, and I just fill in all of the letters and it, I can't really do it with just one hand, so I'll just kind of show you what it looks like once I'm finished. Here we go. And I know it's going to look really messy, but keep in mind, Give it about like a half hour to an hour to dry and then we are going to scrape it off and it should come off pretty nicely. I literally have this Cricut scraper tool that I've just kind of had hanging around. They do have cheaper versions at the dollar store and I'm just going to take it and scrape the ink right off of the sides. Check it out. Here we go. I did clean it up with a little bit of rubbing alcohol and a paper towel just to get some excess ink off and now I'm just going to put it together and check it out. I did notice some inconsistencies with the engrave. You can kind of see it over here, but for future reference, I would probably just go over it another time or two just to get it a little bit deeper. 
but yeah I'm pretty happy with how it came out I will say again the black I did have the most troubles with so again it's trial and error and here is a completed photo of the three finished mugs that I just did up and I was also asked uh, can you do this on a co2 and you can probably get a lot more depth on the co2 than you can with the fiber um, it's probably well worth it if you create a jig for these if you plan on doing a lot of them but you can do it on either the CO2 or the fiber, your pick. Again, I just did these with the fiber because it's my dedicated rotary machine. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with how these came out though. I will also include a link to these and the materials that I used if you would like to purchase and make your own. And in conjunction with all of that, I'll also include the settings that I used for my 30 watt ohm tech fiber, and I'll also include the CO2 settings in case you plan on running some of these on your CO2.